What's up, homies? It's your homegirl, Natalie. Finally, we get to my capsule wardrobe part. Two, 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 do, do. Oh, this fool wants to play. Out. Yes. Ready? So like I said in my part one video, I initially was going to only stay for three months. That was going to be August, September, and October. However, I actually ended up staying two additional months. So I stayed from August all the way into December. The amount of clothing that I brought was only 25 pieces. That already was so minimal to me. And then on top of that, I had to stay through like winter time, through like a lot colder. I was like, oh, how the hell am I gonna do this? So for today's video, I'll be showing you how I transitioned my clothing into the later months and the additional items that I bought. So I could show you everything that I bought, but not necessarily everything that I bought I used. I will be showing you just the pieces of clothing that just helped transition my wardrobe and stuff, okay? So first up, we get two turtlenecks. Yes, the Uniqlo turtlenecks, okay? I got the regular like thinner ones and I got one black one that was like extra warm. It has like that fleece inside that that was something that I was lacking in my wardrobe back at home. So that's why I didn't buy like a thin black one because I knew I already had one at home. These definitely, helped carry my outfits through fall and winter time hands da -da down hands down i also bought some additional tights from there and that was also like heat tech tights i would have bought ones in black but i could not find any in the store at the time so that's why i got these gray ones i did additionally wear some black tights but those tights were just like my mom's tights that i borrowed next are these black jeans at first i decided against buying it because i was like it's expensive i don't really want to be spending that money they were like sold out online and everything and all that shit and then i immediately regretted it and i think you guys saw in my jersey vlog where after after months, I saw it again in stores and I was like, this is it. Money well, well spent. I'm so happy that I bought these. Next are actually biker shorts. Yo, I've been wanting to buy biker shorts for the longest time. However, in Korea, tops, I can like wiggle my way in it, but for bottoms, it's a different story. So I found these two. One was from Target and one is from Puma. So I, I think they're actually like athletic shorts. When Albie and I, we would go training, I felt protected. You know what I'm saying? Especially like in America, it's different from when I'm in Korea because I'm not expecting anyone to catcall me or anything, but in America, it's a little different. This dress right here, I have been wanting to find like that, what, like cottage core, like dress for the longest time. So when I saw this at Nordstrom Rag, you already know it's from this brand called Abound. I almost passed it up because I was like, I don't know if I really want to be spending money on this dress. Am I really going to be able to wear it? Because by the time I found that dress, summer was kind of dying out. And I was like, just get it. If you really, really wanted this type of dress for a long time, it's here, so why not get it? And I was like, you're right, I should, I should get it. And I'm so happy I did. Of course, you guys have already seen these thrifted pieces and that's my green turtleneck, the plaid blazer, and that like houndstooth blazer that I got. Um, these definitely helped my wardrobe. And here's a super cute vest from House of Sunny, last California vlog. I did like a try on haul of all the things I got from there. But yes, this vest, I love it. I love it so much. It just brings me so much happiness every time I see it. So I also have this puffer jacket. It was with me here. And, and then when I went to New Jersey, I left it. So when I was back in Jersey, I got to use that again. And that was like essentially like my winter coat and on the really really cold days i just borrowed a, a coat from my mom and then here's this other like fuzzy teddy little crop jacket that i got from marshall's and i initially got it because i wanted to use it not as like a going out jacket but i wanted to use it when i go out running with lb i don't have like sporty outerwear i guess and so that's why i got it but i did end up using it a lot during my time in America. Oh, and this last piece, I actually brought this with me from Korea. I bought the wrong size. I didn't buy the wrong size. That was the only size left. I bought it in one size up than what I would normally wear. And I was like, oh, I can alter it. When I brought it with me to America, I was hoping my sister could help me, but I totally forgot to ask her about it. So I just did it myself. So I was pretty proud of um, how I did the alterations because it had like a longer crotch.
So a question that some people had was how do they use the new items for the next months and seasons? Obviously the number one thing is it helped me with layering. I didn't really bring a whole lot of things to layer with because in my head I was like, okay, you're gonna be mostly in summer and then fall and you're gonna have maybe some times where it's gonna be like chilly. So the second thing that it helped me with was, especially the tights, it just allowed me to wear like shorts and dresses into fall and winter time. What someone suggested on Instagram was to show my five most used outfits and how I wore them into different seasons. So we're gonna get a summer, fall, I'm gonna say summer, winter. We're gonna have a summer, uh, <laughs> let's say it again. <laughs> we're gonna have a summer, fall and winter outfit for the piece. So let's go. First up is the floral skirt that I thrifted from Market and You. You already saw how I wore this for summertime, the red crop top, the nude mules. It's a super fun and cute look that I absolutely loved wearing this past summer. Now we get to the fall look. Oh my God, I love this so, so much. Okay, so we got the green turtleneck, we got the plaid blazer, and you might be like, wait, that plaid, that floral skirt, but, 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 but. The blazer and the skirt both have orange tones and the green turtleneck, I feel like just connects everything all together. And then I added in the knee high boots for some added warmth. For winter time, we are just layering this thing up, <laughs> starting off with the Uniqlo Heat Tech, and then I put on the red crop top, and on top of that, my green cardigan. I do have leggings underneath, and for extra warmth, I did have tights, like just pantyhose on top of that, or underneath it, technically. Of course, I added in a beret and the knee-high boots as well, so my legs were nice and warm. This might seem like a mishmash of colors, but actually, it all goes together thanks to the skirt. So always gotta look at your patterns. Next is my very used and very loved Marvel t-shirt that I also thrifted from Market and You. Summertime, you already know, the jean shorts, the new mules. I could have been wearing the chanclas here, but my mom was wearing them uh, and she was upstairs. So I was like, let me just wear these. <laughs> Fall time, I paired the t-shirt with my trusty GU jeans and my Aloha's boots. Then I also threw on this thrifted jacket that I got from Unique Thrift. Honestly, when I was thrifting this jacket, I was like, oh, maybe I could wear this for like winter-ish time. Time. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's quite thin. So definitely this is a good fall coat. <laughs> I mean, jacket, jacket. You already know for the winter look, there is most definitely a turtleneck. Um, I think all of them have turtlenecks, but okay. For this one, I paired it with the thicker Uniqlo Heat Tech turtleneck. And then I also put on my flare jeans. I do have tights underneath. And then I also had the knee high boots. For a little pop of color, I got the purple beret on and then I threw on the puffer jacket as well. Now we get to one of my favorite button ups. Thank you, Rachel, for thrifting this for me during our challenge video that we did. So I actually didn't wear this for summertime, but I thought I would still show you an outfit that I could have potentially worn. Initially, I was going to wear it with the black shorts that I have on here, but I just thought for summertime, probably better if I wore jean shorts, especially since the button up isn't a breathable material and those shorts aren't either. So jeans are probably like the better summer look. I absolutely love, love this fall look. So like, I am short, okay? I know my Instagram says otherwise, but that's thanks to my wide angle lens. So one thing that I absolutely really love is finding button ups that are long enough that you could kind of wear like a dress. This one isn't super long, but it's long enough that I can wear it with shorts and it kind of looks like it's a dress. I don't know, I just find that like really sexy and I don't have enough of that in my wardrobe. Anyways, I'm happy I'm able to do it with this look and I wore some tights underneath, my knee high boots, uh, threw on a blazer and called it a night and we were out. So I have the thinner Uniqlo Heat Tech underneath the button up. I do have tights still, and of course I'm wearing the knee high boots because we need that warmth. I am also wearing a white beret, which you might not be able to see. I almost can't even see this. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is as someone who doesn't have a lot of like patterned outerwear, having this like puffer jacket, it makes it seem like the outfit doesn't go together. If I have it open and I see the button up and I see the pattern on the jacket, I'm like, that outfit doesn't go together. But I guess when I'm outside, I'm not rocking this jacket open. Ideally, I would like to have outerwear that matches my actual outfit, but you know, I'm just rocking with what I got right now. I mean, well, not right now, back then. We get to these unique low pants, which honestly, hands down, the most used item in throughout the whole freaking five months, absolutely hands down. Again, I did not wear this for summertime, but just showing you a little outfit that I could have worn, you know, throw on a crop top, some chanclas, call it a day, a night, whatever. 
Ooh, fall time, we see the new kicks that I got, eh? <laughs> I don't even know what that meant, sorry. So for this look, I just threw on the teddy jacket that I have, them new sneakers, call it a day. When it's zipped up, it all matches that looks really nice. Oh, she's here. The House of Sunny vest is here. Um, I wanted to experiment more with the colors instead of just wearing it with just jeans. So these pants were my only other option and it did give me a challenge of how I was going to be able to match them together. Luckily, I was able to pair it with this button up along with my other orange and pink button up. I added in the accessory of the mitten headband because it just furthered that whole color story. And I think to bring it all together were these multi pastel sneakers. This is such a cute look. And then I had to put on that puffer jacket which again kind of mashes the whole thing up but whatever <laughs> yes we get to this thrifted and then thrift flipped dress that i got from million archive for summertime i wanted to be really comfortable in this dress so that meant pairing it with my first ever biker shorts i had already made the dress quite short so wearing the biker shorts just made me feel safe and secure so I filmed the looks for this dress and the next dress back to back, and I accidentally forgot to record the fall look for this one. So first let's talk about this winter look. I am living my 70s dream with a white heat tech turtleneck paired underneath the dress and these unique low heat tech tights. And I forgot to mention, whenever I was wearing those knee high boots, I always wore them with fuzzy knee high socks. So my legs were always pretty warm. Of course, not shown is the long black padding that I borrowed from my mom because if I went outside in the wintertime, I would freeze my ass. And as for fall time, I wore safety shorts underneath with my black boots again and my oversized black blazer to feel extra safe that my butt wasn't all out. <laughs> this little dress from the brand Abound is the cutest thing ever. So I ended up actually forgetting to record the summer look for this one, but I didn't even wear it during the summertime because I didn't buy it until fall time. But if I did, I would have worn the dress with my green sun hat and chunk does for sure. It would have been the perfect little summer dress. Fall time, I was finally able to pull off that like feminine, girly, poofy dress, with the edgy combat boots look. I am so here for it. I also wore my black beret and for when it was chilly, I had on my green cardigan. Winter times look, I paired my green turtleneck underneath it because I went perfectly together. I kept the black beret. I switched up the cardigan for a black blazer and it most definitely also wore my mom's coat, but obviously it, it's not shown here. And to keep my legs nice and warm, I went for the Uniqlo heat tech tights and my knee high boots. These cotton on jeans are another item that definitely saved my capsule wardrobe. So I obviously didn't wear them for summertime because I didn't buy them yet. But if I had, I would have probably used them as a going out look in LA. I paired it with the red crop top and strappy shoes to give me that extra height. The jean length on these are pretty long for me to just wear boots. So I always gotta be pulling up in them heels to wear these jeans out. All right, so this fall look, to make it look more cohesive, I would have switched out the houndstooth blazer for the black one, but I just really wanted Wanted to add in a pattern to the look or if could have switched a turtleneck to a black one but I wanted to have more fun and add in another color to the outfit. I really really love this outfit. It's a color combination that I don't normally wear so it was fun experimenting. For winter time I did some major layering where I had the thick heat tech underneath my satin button up and then I threw on the black crop top on top to define my body shape a little bit more. I think this looked really cute. I also added in my green cardigan and kept the beret and the boots. Here is the final most used item and although I only started wearing this corduroy jumpsuit from and other stories towards the end of fall it seriously was something I kept gravitating towards all the time after the fact. For a possible summer look I just paired it with some nude mules and this looks very chic with very minimal styling effort so I love that. This fall look was when I finally got to debut the jumpsuit. I paired it with my black blazer and two-tone Aloha's boots to which I will let you know okay the sole reason I brought those boots was to wear it out with this outfit. I just felt like it was going to be everything and yes it really was just everything. For winter it was really easy. All I had to do was just wear a turtleneck underneath, tights for extra warmth and that was really it. Of course that purple beret stayed glued to my head as I wore this look out and I think for once this puffer jacket actually looked really nice with the completed look. All right so now we get to my top favorite looks. The one I only wore once is the all pink look 
that I wore in August. It just made me feel amazing despite those people that were laughing at my fit. Be sad, be pressed. You don't got the confidence to wear this out. So I absolutely was living for that outfit. It just made me feel really confident and just like I love being bold. The other one is this green and white dress, um, wearing it with a white turtleneck, the gray tights and the black boots. For me, that just screams 70s. And again, I just really love that style. Of course, of course, that abound dress because I, I was living in that. So my black boots, a beret, that was just the look. I love that dress so freaking much, man. I'm so happy that I have that in my wardrobes. The floral, it turns out all of these are green except for the pink one, but pink and green are complementary colors. Something going on there. But um, yes, it is the floral skirt, the green turtleneck and the plaid blazer. It's like a 70s look and I feel really cool in it. All right, so what did I learn from this challenge? <laughs> Which like, you know, I was like, oh, three months. And it's like, no, JK girl, you doing five. Who challenge, like that's a challenge. <laughs> Definitely packing lighter for a trip is always, always the better deal. You could always buy things later on. My mom came in with two 50 pound luggages, 23 kilos. Then I came with two. And then I also bought an additional luggage. So all in all, we had five. If you're going to be in colder months, definitely at least bring two pair of jeans. Okay, do not be like me. Was so, so relieved when I bought those black jeans because I was able to finally give those GU jeans a rest. I also also found out that transitioning summer clothes into winter is extremely freaking difficult. A lot of my summer items, obviously like I didn't use at all whatsoever in winter time because I just couldn't. Going from like hot as hell to cold as hell, it's just really hard. You have to specifically pack for that. And that was something that I didn't. So that made it extremely hard. I think for the three months I was gonna stay, maybe would have been enough, but additionally November and December, Definitely not. So my friend Jenna asked me, um, she's like, did anyone actually notice that you were doing a capsule wardrobe? Which was a very good question. And no, no one did, or no one told me. Cause re-wearing clothes is completely normal. It's not like, oh, did she wear that? Like, no, we're not in middle school. No one really cares unless you're being really petty like that. Like, come on now. I actually rewear a lot of things that you might not see in videos. You know, I'm running errands or something like that. Like I'm rewearing the same outfit. I also feel like I had enough different like key pieces that when I would mix it up with something else, the outfit still looked new. Plus I wasn't hanging out with someone like every single day. It maybe was like every weekend I was hanging out with my friends. So during the weekday, ain't nobody else seen my fit except for my family. Actually, maybe the only person I don't think my father knows what a capsule wardrobe is, but the only person that was like, girl, was my dad. And this was the first time, the first time in my life since the freaking black zip up hoodie that had a chokehold on middle school Natalie. The first time since that someone asked me like, girl, don't you got another pair of that? Yeah, my dad would tell my mom like, hey, que, ella no tiene otro par de pantalones. Siempre está con eso mismo. Pa, I literally brought two pair of pants. That's it. He was talking about my Uniqlo pants that I was always wearing because they were so comfortable. That's why they were overall my most worn freaking fit. So the last segment, my wardrobe goals, I have lacked in this for a while. What ends up happening is like, if I go thrifting or something, I'm just like, oh, prints. Oh, look at this pattern. One thing that my wardrobe lacks is solid colors. I love colorful things, but what ends up happening is I have a whole bunch of prints. I think I definitely need to start looking <laughs> for only solid color pieces. Maybe I should like make that a challenge for myself, but what if I find something that's really cute and it's a print? That would hurt me to leave it. So that is it for the video, homies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite outfit in the comments down below. You know, it's a new year. Do you got some new ideas on what would you like to see more? I have been seeing a lot of like sit down talking videos of like trends that people like and do not like. I definitely got some stuff to say and it would be nice to just like sit down and chat like a change in pace. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, also let me know. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope this video finds you super, super well. Hope you're staying safe. Till the next one. Bye.